God bless you, class. How are you all? Class, this is your teacher Fauzi Ali Banawas with lesson number two, science chapter number one. And today's topic is important attitudes in the study and practices of science. Today we will learn about the behavior, the positive behavior of a scientist. How a scientist becomes an inventor. It's all about how you behave what you behave so today we will cover some important characteristic features that a scientist possess the very basic or the very first property or quality of a scientist that he is passionate he is passionate for learning about science and nature the second quality of a scientist he is self-motivated means he tries to find solutions by doing different activities through his own desire then he is a good communicator communication means he shares his own observations his own theories his own philosophy his own success and failure with his team fellows and with other competitive teams he is so curious about nature he is a problem solver he tries to find out solution of the problems of himself and for others and in seeking this in finding out the solutions for his problems he thinks out of his box means he thinks different many ways to solve a problems like when you go to your classroom you have different ways to go to your classrooms either one way either two way or the third way so anyways you go to your classroom you find your destinations so there are many possible solutions for every question so he thinks out of his box he is a risk taker when you whenever you do some activity in science there is equal possibility and probability of being failed or to win that trial so when you do it publicly means you are willing to fail or to win that race a scientist is always persistent and resilient whenever you do some activity and you fail then to you learn the reason of your failure and when you bounce back from your failure you put more er more energy to get your goals then a scientist is always focused focused in aiming good results focused in aiming accuracy when you when you uh, sit in your exam and you fail in maths then you get to know the reasons of your failure then you prepare much harder in the next exams to overcome those failures means you are focused on aiming good results the very very positive attitude of a scientist is he is open minded and honest means while doing research work and finding out the solutions he should not cheat or lie to his team workers whatever he is doing he should report that in his a research and a scientist is always logical systematical and methodological now i tell you a story about a scientist jane godel jane godel was a british scientist and he she studied wild chimpanzees she loved chimpanzees and you know in doing this research she stayed in at the forest for more than 10 years she lived in the tropical rainforest where where the wild champions chimpanzees live she stayed in the forest without the comforts of modern facilities and she was exposed to the risk of tropical diseases such as malaria but she pushed on despite many obstacles finally she was able to observe and make interesting discoveries about the behavior of the chimpanzees look at she now today's task is what are the positive attitudes that jane godel possesses that enabled her to succeed in her research on wild chimpanzees 
now if you really want to find the answer of this question you just think for a moment that you are jane godel and you are living in a wild forest with chimpanzees so what positive attitudes you will opt to survive there for 10 years then you will get your answer hope i have cleared the attitudes of scientists today enough so that you will be finding out the answer of this question and many more take care yourself see you tomorrow